welcome back to another lip balm review. This one is Karmix Comfort Care in Mixed Berry, which I'm very excited for, and I meant to review heck a long ago when it came out. And this one, I've been told, smells like an oatmeal cookie with berries in it. So I'm like, ooh, that sounds amazing. I'm probably gonna love it. So anyway, before I open it up, the whole reason I kept it in the package and didn't just open it when I first got it was so that when I'd review it, I could read the stuff on the packaging to you guys. So. Colloidal Oatmeal Lip Balm. It soothes, it smooths, it softens, restores lips to natural beauty, long-lasting moisture, 100% natural. Hells yeah. Uh, Carmex Comfort Care Lip Balm helps restore your lips' natural beauty with a unique blend of natural colloidal oatmeal and cold-pressed antioxidant-rich fruit seed oil that provide long-lasting moisture for your visibly smoother lips. Petrolatum-free, paraben-free. So this is, in fact, organic. It also has the No Animal Testing Leaping Bunny on the back. It is all good. So, let's just get this open then. Format-wise, it's a stick, obviously. And then packaging-wise, um, the tube itself is white, as is the base, but the cap is clear and you can see through it. But yeah, it's got the little picture of the berries and some oatmeal there, little raspberry, blackberry, and blueberries. All of which I love, so all around sounds pretty darn good. Uh, it does have kind of an odd texture to it. It's almost the weird um, bandagey feeling ones, like the smaller ones were. Not sure what's up with that. Maybe it sticks better than plastic. I don't know. But yeah, so already covered that this is natural and organic. This is not limited edition. This is permanent collection. They sell this year round. Um, amount of product you get is 0.15 ounces, a standard stick amount. Awesome. Uh, shelf life, does it say? Does not say. It doesn't even say to toss after so and so many months, which is weird given that it's organic, but whatevs. It's all good. Just use your discretion. Um, anyway, price point really depends on where you find it, which I've actually seen this one, like, practically everywhere. I've seen it in supermarkets, I've seen it in drugstores, I've seen it at Rite Aid, I've seen it at Walgreens, I've seen it at Walmart, Target, you name it. I see this literally everywhere, and always for different prices, so honestly, it depends where the heck you find it, but it's usually not very much. It, it's a very affordable one. So sturdiness-wise, hmm, let's see about that cat. Mm. It's very thick, hard plastic, so I don't think you have to worry about anything happening there. This is good. No, not really a wiggly turn wheel, just barely, but it's got a locking mechanism in place, so I'm not too worried about the turn wheel. All's well. Um, in terms of special features, no SPF. Let's see, does it have medication? I don't think it does, but um, I'm double checking. Actually, why don't I just read you the ingredients? Um, it's got castor oil, beeswax, kupu aku butter, whatever the hell that is, um, radish seed extract, flavor, um, muru muru butter, again, I have no idea, rus vernicifula peel, Sarah, no clue, um, similarly, rus Susa Denia Fruit Sera, mm. Cranberry Seed Oil, Vitamin C Palmitate, Vitamin E, Carnuba Wax, um, Colloidal Oatmeal, Stevia Extract, and Sunflower Oil. So yeah, no medications, just good stuff. So, we'll move on to the scent then, which I am so excited for, holy crap. Oh wow. Okay, so... It's a lighter scent than I was expecting, because usually berry scents are really overwhelming and very strong. This is actually pretty light, and it's very nice. And you do get the oatmeal scent in there as well. It does smell like an oatmeal cookie. Wow. Like, I wasn't sure if this was just people trying to make a comparison because they saw oatmeal at the top. No, it actually legit does smell like that. That's very nice. I like that. And this is even with a slightly stuffy nose, and I smell that. That's pretty good. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So the wax is just natural wax color. It's going to go on clear. Not sure if it's going to be shiny or not, so let's find out. Mm. 
consistency of this reminds me a lot of the um, My Lip Stuff lip balm for comparison. Not quite as wet feeling, but almost. But the stick itself is less soft, so it's a little bit better. Okay, so. Hmm. Ooh, you can taste the berry too. That's heckin' nice. Tastes good. Okay, so. It's about medium thickness lip balm. Um, it's really greasy, so if you like that, awesome. If you don't, you may not like this. Um, it's not at all sticky. It's very slick, very slippery, which feels good, especially if you've got very chapped lips. Mine are a little bit right now, so again, that's why it's comfort care. That is fabulous. I like that. Okay, so in terms of moisturization, the other one I have of these is any indicator. It does a pretty great job. Um, let's see. Shine factor. It's very shiny. It's pretty glossy. I like that. Other people might not, but I like it a lot. Um, let's see about the drink test. Okay, it doesn't really hold up to the drink test. I feel it thinning out even on like two sips of tea. All right. Well, that's okay. So that's only like one thing against it. I think I'm going to rate this an eight out of ten. Um, simply because berry isn't, like, my favorite scent in the world, but in this, it does smell pretty good. Um, so, like I said, 8 out of 10 is really good. I do highly recommend this, especially if you've got very chapped lips. This would feel really nice on them. So, just a thought. So, go hunt for this if you're a lip balm collector like me, or if you're just interested in the market for this one. I highly recommend it. It's a lot nicer than the Sugar Plum one that I just thought smelled funky. This one, I like. So, that's all I have to say on this one. So, as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. If you have this one, what did you think of it? Leave it in the comments, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. And until next time, bye!